fire worlds are sort of exciting and incredibly terrifying phenomena where fires will intensify. It almost looks like a tornado, and basically this vertical column of flame. And fire whirls uh, are, are found actually very often in wildland fires. They're usually very small. But on rare occasions, like the Carr Fire in Northern California, they can become very large and very destructive and result in loss of life. We study these because we're trying to understand their behavior, their formation, and their structure. Firewalls have been reported since, I think there was a giant earthquake in 1923 uh, in Japan outside of Tokyo. And that firewall was responsible for maybe up to 40,000 deaths. Now at certain scales, you might classify that as a fire tornado. And as you know, that's already going to be incredibly destructive. Add the fact that there's a whole bunch of fire inside, which is incinerating everything. They have very tall flames, a very strong updraft. And as they go through, they fling stuff in the air, just like you think a tornado would. And then those light new fires. And so that's very dangerous. And I don't think we know all of the possible formation conditions. Just extreme fire behavior. It's unpredictable. We study them in terms of safety, but something that hasn't been used as often is actually looking at turning some of that energy and actually using it for good. So uh, a lot of our work on firewalls has actually been focused for part of the Department of Interior, which looks at oil spills. And so we've actually looked at using firewalls to clean up oil spills over open water. And so our technique of using a firewall generates much greater heat to the surface, but then it sustains the fire and it burns out the fire much faster. It also burns it much cleaner. And that just means you at least 50% reduction in the amount of soot and emissions that you get out. And so that's something that we continue to study.